Hi, we have to know that in electric vehicles we'll be using a motor and we have to understand how to control these motors so that as we integrate the motors to mechanical system we can have a very good control. And today the main focus will be BLDC. In a later videos I will illustrate PMSM control. As you know that BLDC is a brushless DC motors and you know that the they are usually the main difference between BLDC and PMSM whereby PMSM means permanent magnet synchronous motor it is the vacuum F assuming these two motors they are generators whereby instead of providing power to the motors if you rotate the shaft and you measure the voltage voltage generated by the by the two motors the BLDC is going to have a trapezoidal vacuum F while PMSM that is a permanent magnet synchronous motor will have a sinusoidal vacuum F for you now to control BLDC usually call that method trapezoidal control or commutation I will illustrate six step commutation or trapezoidal control of a BRDC but now let's investigate this back MF using a BLDC motor using MATLAB okay I've already opened MATLAB here and first thing we need we need a BLDC motor that is a brushless DC motor okay if we go to library in this one we're going to use uh in simscape we are not using a foundation now it is electrical in the electromechanical we're going to use uh me, me, we have a mechanical here brushed we have a permanent yeah permanent magnet it is it has a permanent magnet remember blc has a rotor and a stator the rotor is made of a permanent magnet for the stator, it usually have a coil windings. Therefore, we are using a permanent magnet section. And today, our focus will be BLDC. Later, we will go to PMSM. All of them, most not all of them, but most of them. Pick BLDC. This is my P BLDC motor. As you can see now, this one is electrical input, mechanical output. But now I need to have, I need three phase here, because this one is a, a three phase. For you to have the ports on this side, you right click on the BRDC, go to Simscape, block choices, you expand to three phase ports, so that you can have A, B, C, and N, N for reference, okay? Then the first the first thing we need we need to remember now this BLDC we are supplying we are rotating the shaft this is the shaft then we should get a voltage at A B and C okay therefore we need to have an open circuit on this side therefore you go to library foundation you go to electrical element you take an open circuit because we, ha we are not connecting cables on abc we just want to measure the voltage at abc okay this brdc is going to act like a generator rotate control r you connect this there this there last three that then that pattern we need reference okay you can go back to library we need electrical reference to represent our n then at r we need to rotate therefore i can provide angular velocity here how can i provide angular velocity here okay you go back to mechanical you go to mechanical sources we need angular in my previous video, I used an ideal torque source. Still, you can use ideal angular velocity source. Okay, 
they are similar they have similar principles therefore you connect r to r therefore we are going to have a rotation this one provides a rotation it is a source of it is a, a rotation rotation source because we need to rotate our motor shaft so that electricity can be generated on abc okay therefore at c is a reference therefore you have to use a reference you can use a mechanical let's go back to library rotational mechanical rotational reference like that then at c we still have a c is a reference okay just know C is always a reference. S is a, where you put the signal and R is the output. Therefore, we need what? We need to put a signal here. Remember in my last video, I used a constant. I can still type constant. Ah, sorry. I need a constant here. You can rotate. And they said we can never ever connect these two. You see, they can't connect. Therefore, what do you need? We need a PS. We need a S similar to PS converter. Rotate, control R, then connect these two. Like that, okay? Let me use a value of uh, 2 pi. 2 multiplied by pi. Like that, then we need solver. Our main purpose today we want to investigate back EMF of a BLDC. Then later I will illustrate how you can be able to control BLDC using six step commutation using simulink. Okay. This is the mechanical side. I'm done in the mechanical side. Let's now give this BLDC parameters. Depending on the type of BLDC you're using, BLDC has uh, different parameters. You can check on the specs of the motor you're using. Therefore, I'm going to use a uh, wild world perfect trapezoidal here. And I need for the rotor maximum permanent flux leakage. I want to use one for now. Rotor angle with back EMF, let me use 120. You can do more research on these parameters using help. If you click help, this help explains all these parameters for you. Otherwise, you can just, I can make another video whereby I illustrate one by one. Number of post pairs, let me use one pair. pair. For this data, I'm going to use the default values, the first two. But for the inductance, I want to use 8.5 e to power negative 3. Uh, oops, sorry for that. I want to, to use the same value. You can control copy. Let me see. I paste here. Same value. Uh, for the zero sequence inductance, let me use zero for now. Stated resistance, let me have a 0 0.04 ohms. Okay, 0 0.04 ohms. That's fine. That's how you, those are how we have defined our BLDC parameters. Now you just need to measure one of the phase here. If we need voltage sensor, okay, which I go to library, electrical sensors here, this one here. Okay can use one of them let me use the first one like that then here we need a reference we just need to measure v v is our back emf the v here is our back emf therefore we need uh, s2 we need s2 no p to s p to s can connect this to this 
then we need a scope to display our value of back EMF. This one is a uh, this value here is a uh, back EMF like that. What else? Solver, there are some parameters I want to change for the solver. For the solver, I want to use a, I want to use a local solver. I want to use a backward dealer. Sample time, I want to use a 2A negative 6. Today, I, today I, just, I don't want to go deeper details on these parameters because it can use help and just learn about what are the backward dealer, trapezoidal, Partitioning, all, all of them. Can you just help here? Sample time 2e. Let me choose 2e3 so that our simulation takes less time. Then say OK. I think now we are set to go. Then you can run. You take a little some time. Let me see. We have three warnings here. OK, but let's, let's just see the yeah, you can see now the nature of the back EMF. It is a, looks like a trapezoidal, similar one to this one I was illustrating here. This is a, that's how you can be able to investigate the back EMF of a BLDC motor. In my next video, I'm going on to illustrate how can you be able to control BLDC. We're going to go now to the deeper details of controlling BLDC using commutation. Stay tuned. Thank you. Like my video, share, and subscribe.